Kramer's All Hit Music Fix. 95 Kramer, Santana and Shred Kruger into the night. 824, good morning, I'm Drew Savage. Busy, busy Friday. I mean, this has been a, a, a great morning. Hope you've had fun. Uh, if you've been able to uh, spend a little time with us this morning, we've had a uh, great bunch of people on the show this morning. Chris Catan, formerly from Saturday Night Live. He's got a new movie opening in theaters in a couple of weeks. Uh, Surrey Mayor Diane Watts with us uh, last hour. Larry Sutton from People Magazine just a few moments ago in the Daily Dirt. And uh, next up, and if you missed any of these interviews, you can catch them at uh, 95crave.com in our Net and Draw on Demand section. Uh, next up, uh, a, a guy who really kind of captured the imagination, I think, of a lot of people, came out of nowhere last season on American Idol and uh, was pegged as one of the early favorites for last season and made it all the way to the final two. He uh, was one of the two Davids who made it to the final. David Archuleta, his uh, new CD is now available in stores and uh, available for download. And uh, David's been good enough to call into the show this morning. Thanks for being here, David. Oh, yeah, no problem. Is uh, is any of this starting to feel real for you yet? Um, that's, <laughs> that's an interesting question. <laughs> um, I, it's kind of hard to, you know, think that something like this is real. Just because, you know, you grow up and everyone thinks that kind of life is so unrealistic. So when it actually happens to you, it's really weird. <laughs> so, so it's hard to, like, imagine how it's, it's all, all actually happening, especially so fast. I guess it must have been because you're actually, I mean, you're young enough and you're making me feel ancient. Uh, but you're young enough that you actually grew up watching American Idol, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you were a fan yeah, from you were a fan from season one. So when you talk about imagining this life and you never think it's possible, I mean, you literally you were what like ten, eleven years old when the first season came on, and you've been watching it since then. And then finally, you had that moment to get through. Yeah, it was it was Amazing. really cool because the first season is actually what really started me singing, like really wanting to perform. And from that show, it inspired me so much that that's where I started performing at other places here and there and um, really trying to make something out of this. So a year ago, you were still just going through the audition process. Once the show started in January and things start to get rolling, the, the, the girls and their moms go crazy for you. Everybody hears your incredible voice. And, and momentum starts to build. And very early on, you were kind of tagged as being one of the favorites to win American Idol last year. What is it like living in that bubble of American Idol 24-7? Um, well, it's definitely a pretty thick bubble. <laughs> uh, you're pretty much inside the whole time. You don't see a whole lot of sunlight because you're doing, you're just keeping so busy. And uh, I had school three hours a day on top of everything. And uh, just, <laughs> it was like there wasn't a really a lot of free time to do much. Uh, you, you Usually when you rehearsed, it was... Uh, it, early in the morning, mm -hmm. and when you got home late at, late at night, right before you go to bed. So it, everything else was pretty much packed with doing stuff. And um, it was it was pretty crazy, but, I mean, you learned a lot from it, and it prepared you a lot for um, the things um, that you're going through now, like um, being able to perform on stage and on tour, doing arena shows every night, and then also um, having that um, packed schedule for the album, right. too, because you don't have a lot of time to do that. And um, now, you know, doing all these interviews and performances, promo promotion stuff um, that I've been doing lately, I think it helped me prepare for that kind of hectic schedule and um, to keep, um, you know, a, a calm... Um, vibe with you're you. You're able to keep your well. Good for you if you're able to keep calm. I mean, you must be torn in like a million different directions. David Archuleta <laughs> with us, uh, and you are. Yeah, you're doing it now. You you outside of the bubble. You're doing your own thing. You're recording your own music. You're doing your own shows. Is this part of it what you thought it would be like, or is there something really different about this kind of experience? Um, I think the most different part of it is that it's happening to me. <laughs> you know, cause you always imagine yeah. it happen. It's like, oh, I wonder what it's like for them. Uh, how cool is it for them to be touring and doing all that stuff? And it's like, I don't know. You never think that it will happen to you. You think, you think, oh, it'd be so cool if that 
I'd had a chance to make my own album and to be able to work with those kinds of people and be able to be on that show. And then it's like, boom, <laughs> it's, it's happening to you. And so it's like, it's like, I guess that's what's weird. That's what makes everything else seem like um, less realistic because it's like, you know, these things kind of happen, but not to me. Yeah, well, I mean, they're happening happen to, to you me. now. I mean, if, if you weren't getting, if that realization should have sunk in after you would be getting emails from millions of archangels <laughs> all around the world. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, who would win in a fight, an archangel or a claymate? Um, I have no idea. Okay. I, I don't I, know. I, I, <laughs> I guess it would depend on what kind of each person is <laughs> like. You know, if one was like a, a person who cooked cakes or so, baked cakes and someone was a martial artist, <laughs> I don't know. It depends on what they do. <laughs> I, I, I they would. Do, I'll be honest with you. If I'm in a fight against somebody who's baking cake, they've got me distracted by the cake, and they're going to win. Uh, David Archuleta is with us. His uh, album is now out, available in stores and available for download. It's self-titled. David Archuleta. Uh, we appreciate the time. All the best to you. It's been great chatting with you. Dave.